Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are going to be making this lovely fringe cowl. It is uh, made for like a turtleneck actually, so we are going to be folding this down and this fringe uh, is going to be on your front here. So this is the shoulders area, this is the neck area. So I'm going to teach you how to make this lovely piece. First off, the supplies we are going to need today are um, two skeins of Premier yarns. I used all the yarn in this tutorial, so I um, don't have the actual skein, but you can see the lovely colors it comes in. Uh, but the, this is Premier Yarns Mega Brushed Chunky, and these are 109 yards each skein, okay? And we're going to be using two skeins of yarn at the same time, okay? So uh, that's what, 218 yards of uh, yarn that we are going to need today. This is a bulky size five yarn, so make sure you have that. If you use uh, size six extra or super bulky yarn, you would only need to use one strand of yarn when you're crocheting this. But uh, if you're using size five bulky or if you're using a size four medium worsted weight yarn, uh, for the worsted weight yarn, I would maybe use three strands at the same time. For this size five bulky yarn, we're gonna use two strands at the same time. And if you're gonna use size six super bulky, super bulky yarn, use one strand um, of yarn. So, and I'll show you how to do that in the tutorial here. But uh, this is the kind of yarn we are going to use. Like I said, you don't have to use the same exact yarn as me, but uh, you can if you'd like to. This is the color it turns out to be. And it is, uh, I got this from Hirschner's, which I can put a link in the description of this video to the yarn. The size hook we are going to use today is a 12 millimeter hook. Nate got me this awesome hook for the holidays and he got it engraved with Yarn Utopia. And he got me another one that says something silly on it. So um, if you want to get these similar hooks, I'll um, have Nate um, send me the link, but he, I'll put that in the description of the video. The shop name, it's on Etsy. He got these on Etsy and they are the shop name is Bling Your Name here, so I will put the link uh, for these hooks in the description of this video as well. You can go support that shop owner as well on Etsy. I just thought that was so silly, <laughs> not your average hooker. So those are the um, supplies you're going to need. Also a yarn needle and a scissors. So we are using the 12 millimeter hook, which is a P size hook. So if you don't know, you know, the number of millimeters, just get a P size hook and um, we will be using that size today. Before we get started, I do want to mention to check out the links in the description of this video. I will have a link to the uh, blog where you can find out where to get the free written pattern for this cowl. And uh, there's also a link in the description of this video to my Facebook. Make sure you like my page on Facebook, join me there. And if you make any of my projects, make sure to share a photo on Facebook. And you can get inspiration from other crocheters as well. If you're stuck on what, what project to do next or something, you can always get inspiration from our followers there. Also check out my Instagram. Be sure to uh, follow me on Instagram and if you post a photo on there be sure to hashtag Yarn Utopia so that I can see your fabulous work and make sure to follow me on Snapchat as well. I'll post, uh, you know, I like to post little clips and fo photos of things I like to do on my free time when I'm crocheting and when I'm not crocheting. You can get exclusive behind the scenes clips and uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube so that you can and get notifications on when I put new videos out. I try to get one or two out every week. And lastly, I do want to thank our videographer and editor, Fuad Azmat, my dad, for taking the time out to make this video with us. Thank you so much. Let's just get started in making this fabulous fringe cowl. All right, to start off, I have both of my strands of yarn and we're gonna start off with a slip knot. So put both of your strands together like this and then put your short end over the long end and then fold that down and then pull those two through and pull tight. Insert your hook and we're ready to go. So now you can either do a foundation half double crochets uh, across uh, doing 35 of those or you can chain 36 like I am going to do. So yarn over and pull through 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I won't make you watch all 36. So just chain 36 and I'll meet you up and we'll go on to row one together. All right, so I have 36 chains here, so this is what it looks like. And now uh, we want to half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. So the loop that's on your hook never counts as anything, so count one and two. And right in this uh, chain here, we are going to make a half double crochet. But what I normally like to do is turn my chain toward me like this, so you can see these back ridges here. Okay, there's a back ridge here right there, right there, right there, etc. So it may be a little bit difficult to see on this uh, fuzzy yarn, but uh, in person you would definitely be able to see that these are the back ridges. You can work in the top loop like this. If you're looking at your chain like this, you can work in these top loops as well, but I'm going to work in the back ridges here. So in the second chain from the hook, we are going to yarn over, go into the second chain from the hook, then yarn over and pull through. So now you have three loops on your hook. It looks like six because we're doubling up our yarn. So one, two, three, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops, just like that. That's a half double crochet. So again, yarn over, go into the next chain. We're just doing this all the way across this chain. So yarn over, go into this next chain here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Yarn over, go into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, so just continue working one half double crochet into each chain all the way across. At the end of this row, we will be attaching it to form a circle, and I'll show you how to do that uh, once I get to the end of this chain. All right, so this is what your piece should look like now. I just half double crocheted in each chain across here. If you did the foundation half double crochet at this point, you would start following along with us. So now we are going to, uh, without turning our piece, we are twisting it or anything, we are going to turn our work like this so that your hook is on this side. And we are going to bring the two ends together like this. Okay, so it forms a circle. Okay, because that is going to be around our neck. So we are going to just insert our hook in the first half double crochet, whoops, right here. The first half double crochet of this round. We are going to just insert our hook, then take our yarn, yarn over, and pull it through, and pull it through. That's a slip stitch, okay? You can pull tight to secure it, and now, you see at this point down here, there's this little V here. We want to attach these two so that it stays together like this. And we are going to use our beginning strand. So let me get my uh, yarn needle and I'm going to show you how to sew that closed and sew in this straggler end. All right, so to do that, I'm just going to pull, out, pull this out a little bit and remove my hook. And now you can see here the straggler. So there's two strands here. I'm going to yarn my needle. Okay, yarn my needle. And now we are going to go in from, if you're looking at it like this, underneath, going in from this front right here into this side, and then going underneath this loop here around this side but put your finger in here because we're going to go in to there just like that and pull tight and now you're able to sew this end in underneath the stitches from row one okay so just go underneath 
the stitches like that and then pull that all the way through and then stretch it out make sure it is completely hidden if there is any extra outside of here you can just snip that and toss that aside and there you have it it's all sewn together and closed so now we can go on to round two so insert your hook back into your yarn there and now we want to chain up one so yarn over pull through one and this is our repeat now, so we're going to chain up one, and we're just going to put one half double crochet in each stitch around, including this one where we attached and uh, chained up one in. So this stitch right here, we're going to yarn over, go right into that stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, and we're just going to put one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Then we are going to slip stitch to the beginning half double crochet and just repeat row two then, or round two then, for however many rounds you basically want to until your neck is as high as you want it to be. Uh, and then once we finish with the neck, I'm going to make my neck quite long, probably seven or eight rounds of that. Um, just because I want to fold it down more like a cowl, uh, like a turtleneck cowl style. So I'm going to do about seven or eight rounds of that and then I'll show you how to increase a round to uh, make a cap kind of over around your shoulders. So just repeat this, just putting one half double crochet in each stitch around for rounds two through seven and then I'll meet you up um, hopefully I do seven rounds I'll let you know though when I finish uh, making it as long as I want I'll let you know how many rounds I did and then we will start increasing to make the shoulders All right, so this is what my work looks like. I ended up doing eight rows. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows instead of seven. I just felt like this was long enough um, because I'm going to be folding this down on the neck like this so that this will be by your chin and this will be down even more actually like that. Okay, so it's going to cuff down like a turtleneck. So at this point, now we want to increase to kind of make it go a along your shoulders uh, to make it wide enough to go around your shoulders like this. So what we're going to do, let me slip stitch to the beginning here. We are going to increase, so slip stitch to your beginning there, chain up one. Okay, and we're going to put two half double crochets in this first stitch right here. So yarn over, go into this first stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops, then yarn over, go back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. So now we just put two half double crochets in one stitch so that we are increasing. Now our increase is going to be quite subtle, so now we just want to put one half double crochet in the next uh, 17 stitches. So this is uh, round nine here. So two half double crochets in the first stitch, one half double crochet in the next 17 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, and 17. And now in the next stitch, which it should be halfway, if you fold this in half, 
like this. This is the middle, and you'll see that there is our stitches on the other side, and it's pretty equal on each side. So once you get to halfway point here, now we are going to put two half double crochets in the next stitch. So yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops, yarn over, go back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Okay, so we just made another increase there by putting these two half double crochets in one stitch. Now we're going to just put one half double crochet in the rest of the stitches around. So at the end of this round, if you need to count back, you should have uh, 37 half double crochets. Okay, so I'm just going to half double crochet in the rest of these stitches. I'll meet you up at the end of this round and we will go on to the round 10 for another increase. Alright, so I just made it back around. I'm just going to slip stitch to the beginning half double crochet of this round. Just insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Okay, so we just made our increase. You can't really tell that it is an increase um, because we did it just two increases on round nine. So now let's go on to round ten. Just chain up one. And we're basically going to repeat uh, round nine. So put two half double crochets in this first stitch. So one and two. Okay, so we just put both of those half double crochets in the first stitch. And now we're just going to put one half double crochet in the next 18 stitches this time. So on round nine, it was uh, in the next 17. So now round 10, we are doing one half double crochet in the next 18 stitches. And then we'll do another increase. So let's get over there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. I'm loving the colors this is turning out to be. It's so pretty with the variations. Okay, I lost count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, and 18. And now, once you get your 18th stitch in there, if you need to fold it in half to make sure that is the halfway point, you can do that. And then go into this next stitch for two half double crochets for an increase. And you can see at the previous round that there is our increase from the previous round. So you basically just have to crochet until you get to your increase and then we'll go into the first stitch of our increase from the last round. We'll make two half double crochets in there. So one and two. And then we just want to half double crochet in the rest of the stitches around. Simple as that. So this is round 10, so I'll just meet you up when we go on to round 11 together. Alright, at the end of round 10, you should have 39 half double crochets. If you do, then slip stitch to the beginning half double crochet of this round. And let's go on to round 11 together. So chain up one, and we are going to, let me chain up one here, there we go. Put two half double crochets in the first stitch. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And again, yarn over, go back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So we just increase it there. And then we want to put one half double crochet in the next 19 stitches. Okay, and then I'm just going to do that. So I'll meet you up when we do our next increase. So go do one half double crochet in the next 19 stitches, and then I'll show you how to increase once I do that. All right, so I just single, or I'm sorry, d uh, half double crocheted in the next 19 stitches here, and you can see that I'm at my halfway point. You can see here that their increase from our previous row is right here, so we know that we need to increase at this point. So just put two half double crochets in the next stitch. So one and two, just like that. 
and then just put one half double crochet in the rest of the stitches around. It's that simple. So this was round 11 and at the end of round 11 you should have 41 half double crochets around. So I'll meet you up when I'm finished with round 11 and we'll go on to round 12 together. Alright, so I'm just uh, back to the beginning here, so I'm just going to slip stitch right into the first half double crochet of this round, and we're going on to round 12 now, so chain up one, and we are going to repeat, so just uh, put two half double crochets in this first stitch, one and two, and then we're going to put one half double crochet in the next 20 stitches this time. So you can kind of get the pattern how we are increasing this uh, cowl here. So I'm going to put one half double crochet in the next 20 stitches. Once I do that, I'll meet you up for our increase. Alright, so I just uh, half double crocheted in the next 20 stitches here, and you can see here there is my increase from the previous round, so you know we're halfway point right there. So now we're going to put two half double crochets in this next stitch. So one and two. Okay, that's our increase right there, and uh, this is round 12, so now we are just going to put one half double crochet in the rest of the stitches around. For round 12, you should have 43 half double crochets at the end of this round. And let's see here. We'll go on to round 13 together. All right, so I just uh, did one half double crochet in the rest of the stitches around. So I'm just going to slip stitch in the beginning half double crochet of this round. And we're going on to round, let's see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, round 13. It is our last round, round 13, so chain up one. And then we're going to put two half double crochets in this first stitch. One and two. And then we're going to put one half double crochet in the next 21 stitches. So I'm going to do that and then I'll meet you up when I get to uh, the halfway point here. And then we'll do our increase and I'll show you how to finish off. Alright, so I just half double crocheted in the next 21 stitches here for round 13. You can see very back at our increase from our previous round. So we're now we're going to put two half double crochets in the next stitch. So one and two, and then we're just going to put one half double crochet in the rest of the stitches around. It's that simple. So then I, once I get back around to the beginning, I will show you how to fasten off and then we will make our fringe. Alright, I'm just finishing up here, just two more stitches left, and then I'll show you how to fasten off right here. So what we have to do is just go into the first half double crochet of this round, make our slip stitch, and then to fasten off I like to just chain up one, cut my yarn, and continue pulling that all the way through, and then pull that tight, and then take my yarn needle and yarn my needle with these two strands. Okay and then just sew this in underneath the stitches like this okay and you can continue sewing so that it is all hidden completely and if you have any excess yarn extra yarn that is not hidden you can just cut that and I'll show you there we go. Make sure you stretch it out though so that it's all hidden underneath there. And if a little bit is poking out, you can just trim that and then stretch it out. Make sure it is all stretched out. And you can see here how our increase made it go like this because these this is what will be on our shoulders. And this will be folded down around our neck. So it's like a little capelet kind of thing. So it will actually look like this. Ok, 
Okay, now we are going to add fringe coming down on each of these stitches. So at the end of round 13, you should have 45 stitches around. So we need to cut 45 strands of yarn. And the strand of yarn that we need to cut needs to be about seven or eight inches long. You can just eyeball it if it's about, you know, 12 inches long, no big deal because we're going to trim it anyways. So we need to cut 45 of these. So I'm just going to cut that like that and make 45 of these. Once I cut all 45 strands, then I will show you how to attach these to your cowl. All right, so I have all my strands over here all cut out and we're just going to take one by one and we're going to fold it in half and you want to make sure that it's on the widest part of our cowl, okay? So the top part here is where our neck is going to be and then this is where our shoulders are going to be. So make sure you're working on this end of your cowl and we are just going to go into a stitch from inside our cowl, okay, from to the outside with our hook and we are just going to hook it on like this so we have it folded through and then we're just going to grab it through and pull it and pull tight. Okay, I'll show you again. We'll grab and we'll just go to the next stitch like this. So go from the inside to the outside, hook on the yarn that you folded in half, pull it through, make sure it is evenly pulled in half, then fold it up, pull that through, and pull tight. Okay, I'll show you again. Go into the next stitch, grab a piece of yarn in half, Fold it up, pull that through, and pull tight. Okay, so there is your fringe. So then we are just going to do that to each stitch all the way around. Once you get the hang of it, it will become much faster of a task to do. And you can do fringe, you know, in in the same color as the yarn that you're using or in different colors or you know you can make this your own you know you can uh, make this main color one plain color and then have rainbow colored fringe you can use as many colors as you want you can make this piece striped and then use the fringe of the striped colors I mean the creativity is endless. You could do so many things with this. So I'm just going to continue making my fringe all the way around and then at the very end um, obviously my fringe is not going to be the same height, the same length, so we are going to cut along the edge to make it straight and even. So I will do that uh, and I'll show you at the end when I do that, but I'm just going to add my fringe to each stitch and I'll meet you up then when I want to cut each strand to be uniform. Alright, at this point I just uh, attached all my fringe. You want to make sure when it's all attached to pull each one tight so that it is secure. And then we are going to cut the ends because uh, this ends are just really really messy so we want to finger comb it all straight so make sure that you comb it out okay and then you want to kind of flatten it and then just go across and just snip whatever Whatever looks straight to you. You can just snip one or two here and there. Make sure that it is even. You know, it doesn't have to be super perfect, but if it's, you know, in the same sort of length as the rest, there can be maybe one super short one in there or one super long one, but you don't want it to be not uniform and looking messy. 
So just clean up your ends a little bit, just like that. And then I'll meet you up when we're completely finished. All right, there you have it. I just cut all these ends here and they're pretty straight. Like I said, you don't have to make it super perfect. Uh, if it is completely perfect, it may look a little weird. So you want fringe. Fringe is supposed to just be free flowing. So this is what it looks like. And then once you put it on, you can fold this down around your neck like this and then these this area will be on your shoulders and this will be down your front around your body so that is our fringe cowl that we just made thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and learned how to make this lovely piece be sure to check out the links in the description of this video i'll have a link to the blog where you can find out where to get the written pattern for this uh, piece here this fashionable piece and also there's a link in the description of this video to my Facebook. Make sure to join me on Facebook, like my page, and if you put fo uh, take a photo of your work, make sure to uh, post a photo on the Facebook, and you can get inspiration from other crocheters as well. Our community is growing so rapidly, so thank you so much for being there. Also, check out my Instagram, and if you post a photo on Instagram or any social media, be sure to hashtag Yarnutopia so that I can see all of your fabulous work, and follow me on Snapchat as well. You'll see behind the scenes footage of what I like to do on my free time when I'm not crocheting or when I am crocheting. Uh, subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. You can get updates on when I post new videos. I try to get one or two out every week so make sure to subscribe so you can get the VIP notification on when I post a new video. I do want to thank our videographer and editor Fuad Azmat for taking the time out to make this video with us. So thank you so much for watching. Happy hooking!